Hey guys, how are you doing? Scotty from Scott's Bass Lessons. We are almost at Christmas Day. I think we're a couple of days away. So hopefully everybody's revved up and uh, ready to eat a lot of food and drink a lot of wine. Um, again, we're here for another bass riff of the week. A bit of a different one this time. Normally I've got, you know, a backing track and the full shebang. But I just thought, you know, we're going into Christmas, we're slowing down, we're mellowing out. It needs to be mellow, you know. It doesn't need to be, you know... We don't need a million notes an hour, we need to be chilling. So I came up with a chilled little groove that I wanted to share with you. It's a little cool ditty. If you want to get the tab and notation for this, if you're watching this on YouTube, just hit the link below this video. You'll go through to a page, follow the instructions, and then you'll go through to the toolkit area on scottsbassessence.com, which is where I am from, um, and you'll be able to download the tab from there. And if you're watching it on my website, just hit the link below, follow the instructions, and you'll be good. Um, and remember, SBL Academy members, you can download this video um, and you can download the audio as well and all that, all that kind of thing. And if you haven't checked out SBL Academy yet, make sure you do so. So let's check a look, a look, let's take a look at the riff. So the riff is really simple. You heard it at the beginning of this video and it's kind of based around harmonics and I'm just moving two, it's just two chords, you know, going from one chord to the other, and I've got a, a, sort of like a chilled kind of fill in between the two. Like the two chords, that first chord there, is like an F major six, that kind of sound. And I'm getting that by holding down the F with my second finger on my um, fretting hand, and then I'm getting the, the major third and the sixth, which is the D, from the harmonics on the D and the G string. Now you get those harmonics by just putting your finger over the fret, not holding it down, you just put your finger over the fret on the strings and then just take it away and they'll ring out, okay? So again, you don't hold them down, you're not getting that sound, you just hold it on the strings but not pushing down and then you get your harmonic, okay? but I'm playing a bass note at the same time. So here I'm striking across all the three strings at the same time. So it's, or you could play it with your thumb, your index and your middle, like that kind of thing, yeah? But I'm just doing this. So you play the F, the major six, and then it goes down to the same shape over the E flat. So you've got an E flat with your second finger and then your first finger is plucking the harmonics over the fifth fret on the D and G. And this gives you a major seven sound, okay? So on the D string here, we're playing, it's a D note. That's what we get we from a harmonic. And the C, on, and on the fifth fret, we're getting the, the major third, which is the G. So it gives an E major seven kind of sound, okay? so. F major six to an E flat major seven, which is the, if I was to play the chords, it would sound like. But I'm playing it. Like that, okay. And I'm just moving that shape down there, sliding down. Now the key is to get that bass line underneath with the harmonics ringing on the top. Hear the, that note underneath? So make sure you're not muting the back of the strings with that index finger. Now the first little fill is just a really simple, like a E flat, you know, major pentatonic type thing. So, so it's B flat to C, E flat, C, and then a hammer on onto that major third of the E flat. So it's based over that E flat major chord. Oh, 
just to show that we don't edit these completely, I'm just going to, uh, oh, should I answer it? It's Christmas. I'll answer it. Hey, Lisa, it's my wife. I'm just doing a lesson. Do you mind if I call you back in 10 minutes? She says, okay. Okay, I'll speak to you in 10 minutes. Love you. Bye. See, normally we'd edit that out, but we'll keep it in. We'll keep it in. Okay, so we've got this. Okay, that's just on that. Again, B flat, C, E flat, C, and then a hammer onto that major third. If you need the tab, make sure you click the link below the video. And again, I'm trying to get these harmonics to ring at the same time. And then the next bit, and again, it's just a fill in between, okay? So it's just G, B flat, C, E flat, G, B flat, C, E flat. So real slowly, okay? Speed, two, a, two, a, four. think nice and chilled for Christmas so again if you want the tab notation just hit the link below the video follow the instructions and you'll get it in the uh, toolkit over at Scott's Bass Lessons which has a load of other cool subscriber goodies in there too and um, other than that you might you may or may not know but we've been releasing videos from the 1st of December right through to the 25th of December so you're gonna get one on Christmas Day as well which will be really cool and, and then I think I'm just going to, you know, sleep for about five weeks. So other than that, take it easy. I'll see you tomorrow in the shed.